Hi everyone, welcome back to Ava Jan's Kitchen and today we're going to show you guys how to make oxtail pasta. Yes, oxtail pasta, the oxtail that everybody know and love. This is going to be really great because what happens is that you don't have to use as much oxtail as you normally do. It's going to be quick, it's going to be easy, I'm going to show you how to do it from start to finish. This is good if you have a taste for oxtail and we know our oxtail can be very expensive, trust me. You can stretch this. It is very, very easy. All right, and it is delicious. Okay, so come on, let me show you the ingredients. So we have our bell peppers and I've julienne them. This is the size. The bell peppers, I got a wide variety of different colors. I have the red, I have the orange. I have the green and I have the yellow. Okay, we all we also onions, Parmesan cheese, thyme because you know I love my thyme, garlic because oh I love my garlic too, and this is just a half a habanero pepper. If you like it spicy, you can do more. Me can do can do too much spice. Okay, half and half jerk seasoning and this is optional. I'm just going to use a little bit. We have a Cajun seasoning, pasta, oil, salt and pepper, and my usual seasoning salt. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and show you the oxtail. The oxtail, I had this cooking for about, about two hours. And you can slow cook the oxtail. You can put the oxtail on and leave it overnight because the result that you want to get is fall off the bone. Okay? You want it to be really, really fall off the bone soft. Add my salt and my oil to my pasta water. Remember, like I said in the videos before, you want to add your oil so you can stop it from sticking together. Add my pasta in. Okay, so now I have my pot. This is, a, this is a nice enough size. I'm gonna add oil, then garlic. Add my garlic so it can cook a little bit. Pepper too. You don't want those big chunks of garlic. And if you wanna chop your garlic smaller, that is fine. Yeah, we are, we are garlic lovers. To me, it smells mm -hmm. nice. Spring time. Mm -hmm. Get that going. Okay, now I'm gonna show you. Oxtail. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transfer the oxtail and the broth to the pot. Also put a little bit of beef bone in it. Um, I didn't add the bell peppers yet because I don't want to overcook my bell peppers. And I add the bones in it. I mean, later on we can always take them out. Okay guys, so while this is cooking, my pasta is halfway cooked. Well, let me show you something now. To add more flavor, I'm just gonna take my half cooked pasta Add it to my oxtail. So I'm gonna give that a few more minutes. Okay, so now I'm removing all the bone because all the it's just bone. All the meat is off. I hope everyone is having a great day. A great, great day. You woke up to see another day. Be thank be thankful. Be thankful. So now that the pasta is almost cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. Add my bell peppers. That's a lot. Yeah. You see all this color? This is very similar to um, Rasta pasta. 
those of you who are familiar with that. Then I'm gonna come with my half and half. Add a little bit of jerk season, like I said, this is optional. I just like that nice flavor. Little bit of Cajun seasoning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it, I'm going to put it on medium and let it simmer for about 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so the pasta now has been simmering for about 10 minutes, see that, it's reduced, the pasta is cooked, veggies are softer, now I'm going to add, I'm going to add my seasoning the rest of my seasonings a little bit of season salt you know I like to have I like to have a little bit of color in my meal to me it just matters if it tastes good or not yeah but some people eat with their eyes you know at that reduce we're going to go ahead and add our parmesan cheese All we are saying is give cheese a chance. What's my twist? Na 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 na. All right. Yeah yeah. Look at that. Holy moly guacamole, or pasta in this case. Guess what guys? Guess what everybody? We're done. Food is done. Dinner is served. Okay? Nice oxtail pasta. We're going to call this oxtail rasta pasta. Cuz we got all the colors. We got the red, gold and green. Red, gold and green. Very, very nice. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys need a personal chef in the Atlanta area, okay, you can DM me. All right, my Instagram is Avia John Kitchen, and my Facebook is CJ's Catering and Personal Chef LLC. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. So this is the end result, everybody. Look at that. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more cheese on it. For the cheese lovers, like myself. Yes, my cheese. Oxtail rasta pasta. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't wait to try you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what? Let me stop with the singing because it's not a singing. You know, I don't want nobody to be flocking me, you know, because I, I'm such a great singer. I. This is a cooking channel. It's not it's it's not about my voice right now. Okay? Oh. <laughs> I just want to eat you up. Ooh, 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 yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, everyone. And this is the end result of our oxtail pasta, our oxtail rasta pasta. Nice colors. Of the bell peppers we got our uh, oxtail for oxtail lovers we got our pasta for pasta lovers i love them <laughs> i love it everybody love it oxtail yeah. rasta pasta 
all right guys don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my video check out my facebook check out my instagram the link is down at the bottom in the description and everybody have a wonderful wonderful day don't forget to be safe sanitizer wash your hands wear your gloves wear your face mask and be blessed everybody bye bye